Good morning. Hello, my awesome students. How are you? Okay, that's good to hear. So, welcome to our Physical Education and Health 12 with your teacher, Gracie Jean Lopez Tamparong. And take note, health is wealth. Okay, so before we will proceed, let us have our prayer first. Please bow down your heads and pray. Okay. Now, before you will sit down, we will have our warm-up and stretching first. So, are you ready? So, make sure to move your body. Okay, so let's start. And of course, mga kaguro, and to all the students out there, hello, hello, hello. So, for today's video, I'm going to show you on how to do stretching. But before that one, let's have to know first what is stretching. Stretching means it is performed in order to increase and maintain flexibility. So, ayan po. Dito natin makikita ang mga stretching routine po. So, are you ready? So, let's start. I know you're excited. So, let's do this. Okay. So, let's start with our head rotation. So, from left to right. So, let's start in.
I know you're energized now because you're done with your warm-up and stretching. So let us know first our class rules in order for us to start our class. Okay, so let's have our class rules. Of course, sign in on time. Find some quiet places to study. Listen attentively. Look at the screen. Answer when teacher calls your name. Be responsible. Texting and chatting is cool, but not during online class. Respect everyone in this class has feelings and bullying will not be tolerated. Have fun and get creative. And the last one, be fit and be healthy. You already know now our class rules. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so before we will proceed, I want you to show me that you're ready. Okay, can you show me that you're ready? Okay, so if you're ready, give me five virtual claps. Okay, so that's it. So we're, you're ready and I'm ready. So let's start. So I will give you this one. What I know. So what do you know? So, I will give you a pre-assessment and the direction is... So, everybody read the direction of our pre-assessment. Okay. Click the letter of the best answer to the following question. Okay. Question number one. The following are the nutrients needed by the body to produce energy except A. Carbohydrates B. Fat C. Protein D. Vitamin C So what is your answer? Okay, let me hear your answer Okay, louder Oh, you want fats Okay, let's click letter B Fats Oh, your answer is Wrong! Make sure to try again. Read again the question. Let's go back. The following are the nutrients needed by the body to produce energy except A. Carbohydrates B. Fats C. Protein and D. Vitamin C So what is your answer? Okay. Let me hear again. Your answer is letter D. Okay, vitamin C. I'm going to click letter D, vitamin C. Your answer is... Ah, what is your answer? Correct! Very impressive. So take note that the food foils for energy are carbohydrates, fats, and protein. Take note that vitamin C is one of the safest and most effective nutrients experts say but the benefits of vitamin c may include protection against immune system deficiencies cardiovascular prenatal health problems eye diseases and even screen wrinkling and if you want to know more about vitamin c please click the link below okay so now, are you ready with our second question? Second question. Okay, let's have question number two. What energy movement lasting about 5 to 15 minutes and does not require energy? A. Aerobic B. ATP C. Glycolytic or letter D. Oxidative So what is your answer? Okay, again? Okay, I will click your answer. Your answer is letter D, oxidative. Okay. So, wait for the result. Your answer is wrong but not bad. Try again. So, let's go back for the question. Okay, what energy movement lasting about 5 to 15 minutes and does not require energy? So, what is your answer again? Okay, your answer is letter B, ATP. I will click letter B, ATP. 
Okay, wait for the result. Your answer is correct! High five! Now take note, oxygen is your main energy source during aerobic workouts. Therefore, oxidative system energy is used. Very good! Now let's have question number three. Read carefully. Which component of physical fitness refers to the physical attributes such as the cardiorespiratory, muscular strength, and flexibility? Okay, A, fitness, B, health-related, C, skills-related, or D, talent-related. So what is your answer? Again, what is your answer? Okay, I will click. Letter A, fitness. Wait for the result. Okay, wrong, but not bad. So try again. Let's go back to the question. Which component of physical attributes such as cardiorespiratory, muscular strength, and flexibility? Okay, what is your answer? Okay, health-related, letter B. Okay. So, I will click letter B, health-related. So, wait for the result. Your answer is correct. So, high five for that. Take note, health-related refer to those physical attributes which enable a person to cope with daily living. So, very good. So, okay, so now let's proceed to the next. Let's have... Let's have number two, what I know activity. Let's start. Okay, what I know. Okay, let's have the direction. Identify the words of terminology of the following statement. So, are you ready? So, if you're ready, give me five virtual clap. Okay. Question number one to number four. Make sure to answer properly. Okay, so number one, ATP. What is ATP? Number two, what is FIT? F-I-T-T. -T. Number three, what is BMI? And number four, what is CHO? So I know this is very easy for you, so I want you to answer properly. Make sure to write the correct spelling. Okay, so good luck. Okay, let's have the answer. ATP means... Adenosine triphosphate and FIT stands for frequency, intensity, time, and type. And the BMI stands for body mass index. And the last one, CHO or CHO means carbohydrates. Okay, job well done. Very good. So congratulations. You did very good with your post test. Now, I want you to focus on the screen. Okay, observe the picture being presented. Okay. okay. Observe. Now, what can you say about the picture? Okay. What can you say about the picture? Mm hmm. Yes, Jade. Yes, this is a woman. Okay. Next, he felt the, the warm of the sun. Nice. Or sunset. Okay, how about this one? Yes, it's a a man having yes exercise workout yes very good how about this one the third one hmm. can you see this one in your barangays or even in your in your area yes very good this is a solar light okay yes very good how about this one do you have this one in your house of course we have this one this is bulb okay 
And how about this one? Is it important for us? Yes, very good. Because this is a... Yes, it's a sun. Mm. Now, can you connect this picture? Yes, Maria? Yes, very good. We need sun because sun produces energy. And because of energy, we can work, we can have workouts, and especially we can produce, and it can produce electricity, and it can produce lightning. So, as you notice, in our area now, most of our road using solar lightning for the road. And we also need light. We also need energy. And because of energy, we feel comfortable. We can do whatever we want. Okay. So now, what do you think is our topic? Yes? Mm, yes, you have an idea. So, our topic for today and what's new, it's all about... Yes, it's all about energy. Meaning, energy is... Everybody read. Energy is the ability or capacity to do work and is measured in calories or joules. But the most important energy that we have also is this one. One of the fastest ways... To brace ourselves energetically for speaking is to feel our own energy moving to our body while activating our power centers. Okay. So meaning, whatever we do, whatever we want to do, it's because of? Yes, very good. It's because of energy. Okay. Is it clear? Crystal, very good. So do you have a question? Okay, none so far. So, since there's none, let's proceed. So, we also have food fuels for energy. But, again, the three food fuels for energy are carbohydrates, fat, and protein. Very good. Give yourself a virtual clap. Okay, let's have now the three energy system. Look at the screen and I want you to focus. Okay, everybody read number one. Okay, louder. Okay, ATP or adenosine trus triphosphate. Okay, what is ATP? Okay, everybody read. An organic compound that provides energy to drive many processes in living cells such as muscle coordination, nerve impulse propagation. Okay, so let's have number two, glycolytic system. Meaning, everybody read louder. The breakdown or lysis of glucose and consists of a series of chemical reactions that are controlled by enzymes. And we also have number three, oxidative system. Also known as Krebs cycle and the citric acid cycle. Okay, now. Okay, do you have question? Okay, since there's none, let's proceed. Now, do you want more? Yeah. Okay, since you want more, let's have what's more? Okay, so aside from the food fuels energy and energy system, we also have what's more? We have aerobic versus anaerobic. Okay, so what is aerobic versus anaerobic? So let's have aerobic. Aerobic exercise is any type of cardiovascular conditioning or cardio. Oxygen is your main energy source. So example of that is doing... Give me another example of aerobic exercise. Okay? Yes? Mm. Yes, you're correct. We have... Okay, take note also that aerobic exercise, meaning your breathing and heart rate increases for a sustained period of time. Sustained period of time. Oxygen is your main energy source during, for example, aerobic workouts. Therefore, oxidative system energy is used. No? And take note, there are benefits of aerobic exercises. So we have 
reduce risk of heart attack, reduce risk of type 2 diabetes, re recure risk of stroke, help lose weight and keep it off, help lower and control blood pressure, increase stamina and reduce fatigue during exercise. We also have activates immune system, making you less likely to get colds or flu. Next, strengthen the heart. Next, boost mood. And the last one, help you live longer than those who doesn't exercise. That's why in our situation now, so that's for aerobic exercise. Now, how about anaerobic exercise? Exercise. So, anaerobic exercise involves quick bursts of energy and are performed at maximum effort to short time. So, to know more about anaerobic exercise, it involves quick bursts of energy, as I've said a while ago, and perform at maximum effort for a short time only. So, meaning the energy system you use are the ATP or glycolytic system. Take note. It is in our topic a while ago. Now, we also have benefits of anaerobic exercise. Same with aerobic exercise as also benefits. So, benefits of anaerobic exercise, we have build muscles, lose weight, maintain muscle mass as your age, strengthen bones, burns fat, and increase stamina for daily activities. Like for example, here, this is very common to us, especially in our pandemic situation. Uh, hiking, yes. What else? Yes, very good. Dancing, what else? Especially uh, during uh, leisure time. Of course, playing. So those are examples of an aerobic exercise meaning it is quick bursts of energy not like with an aerobic exercise more on so again what is the difference between aerobic and an aerobic yes stephanie yes very good you have an idea excellent yes another Better. Yes, you also have an idea, meaning to say that you really understand our topic today. Good. Now, since you understand our topic, let's sum up our topic. Okay, set properly and be comfortable. Okay, I will ask somebody to answer the given questions and make sure to complete the sentence while answering the question. Clear? Crystal, very good. Okay, set properly. Okay, focus. Okay, so job well done, students. So now, do you want to relax? Okay, let me hear your answer. Okay, so do you, you want to relax? I will give you that one. So what you are going to do is to listen to my instruction because what I need is your attention your cooperation and not distraction is it clear is it clear yeah. very good crystal so set properly and focus only to yourself without looking anywhere just set properly set properly and set properly put your hands on your lap okay and focus on yourself okay now. okay i want you to listen only to my voice because we are going to do progressive muscle relaxation okay listen only to my voice and listen to my instruction so as we breathe we will do some progressive muscle relaxation so that you can feel the difference between tension and relaxation in our muscles. Because we are not only aware, when we hold tension,
action in our bodies. This exercise will make us more aware and give us a way to release the tension. Okay, again, set properly. Now, close your eyes and set straight in your chair. Place your feet on the floor and feel the ground under your feet. Relax your hands in your lap. As you breathe in, I will ask you to tense and tighten certain muscles in your body. As you tense and hold the muscles, you will hold your breath for a count your arms by bending at the elbows and bring your arms tight alongside your upper body. Shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Tense all your facial muscles. Now, feel your toes, thigh, face, forehead, your body. Now, drop your chin slowly toward your chest. As you inhale, slowly and carefully rotate your head in a circle to the right. Exhale as you bring your head around to the left and back toward your chest. Inhale to the right and back. Exhale to the left 
and down. Inhale to the right and back. Exhale to the left and down. Now reverse direction. Inhale to the left and back. Exhale to the right and down. Okay, let's repeat. Inhale to the left and back. Exhale to the right and down. Now, bring your head up to the center. Notice the calm in your mind and body. Now, make a commitment to take care of yourself each and every day. Okay? So, I want you to open now your eyes. How do you feel? Okay. I hope you feel relaxed. You feel the calmness of your mind and body. So I'm encouraging you to do this one maybe once or twice a week or thrice. Or if you want to feel relaxed, do it and share it to your family and friends in order for them to feel that they're relaxed and the calmness of their mind and body is still there. Okay? So, set properly. Our reflection. So, first is enumerate three things you have realized about optimizing energy. Second one, what are the two things that you want to clarify in this topic if you are doubtful or if you want something to clarify with just express it and next number three express one or shout out to encourage others to optimize their energy for better health okay so make sure to do it now and reflect okay so while reflecting i want you to properly and listen to my instruction. I hope you learned something for today's discussion and I want you to reflect on something about what you've learned and share it to encourage on how to take care of yourselves and experience the relaxation and the calmness of your body and mind. Because take note, health is Okay, so thank you and goodbye, class. Okay, keep safe and God bless everyone.